Hi! In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of Zapier integration, then show you how easy it is to integrate Octopus CRM with HubSpot, Google Sheets, and other apps available in Zapier. For those who do not have lots of experience with Zapier, Zapier is an automation tool that allows you to connect multiple apps you use every day. As an example, by using Zapier, you can automatically push data from your help desk system to the CRM platform or send tasks from Evernote to project management tools like Asana or Trello. And now with Octopus CRM, you can push actions you do on LinkedIn to Zapier and then forward them to your preferred tools like HubSpot CRM. So here's the process. First, you take a short code from Zapier and paste it into the needed campaign in Octopus CRM. Let's say your default messaging campaign. Then, you launch this campaign and Octopus CRM will start sending messages. Since you've activated Zapier integration on this campaign, Octopus will be pushing each person's data to Zapier. Then, after you set everything up on Zapier, it will be automatically forwarding this data to HubSpot, Google Sheets, and any other applications you'll choose. Now, let me show you this entire process in detail. Let's say you would like to push data from your messaging campaign to Google Sheets. First, go to Zapier.com and log into your account or sign up if you're new to Zapier. Press Make a Zap and search for Webhooks by Zapier. It's a standard app that gathers data and we'll need to use it every time we make a zap. Now you have to select the exact way you want Webhook to operate. Always select the second option, Catch a Hook, Zapier has generated a custom webhook URL you need to paste into the needed campaign in Octopus CRM. We go to the CRM, then Tools, and paste this URL into the Zapier integration field. Press Test, so Octopus CRM could send the test data to Zapier, and click Save. Great! Now go back to Zapier and press Test and Review. Here, we can see the test data we've just sent from Octopus. All good. We click Done Editing, and now we have to push this data to our Google Sheet. First, go to your Google account and create a separate spreadsheet on Google Drive. Input the fields like first name, last name, email address, title, company, website, and profile URL. Well done! Now go back to Zapier, click on Step 2, then search for Google Sheets, and here click Create Spreadsheet Row. What it means is that every time you message profiles from your messaging campaign in Octopus CRM, it's going to update your Google document. Click Continue. Select the Google account. My Google Drive. And choose your document. And select your worksheet, Sheet 1. Okay, as you can see, all these headers from our spreadsheet now appear on Zapier. And what we have to do now is match the information. You click here and choose first name, then choose the last name, email address, title, company name, website, and LinkedIn profile URL. Great! Click Continue. Now let's send test data to Google Sheets to see if everything works well. Okay, let's have a look at our spreadsheet. And here it is. Great, our zap is almost completed. Go back to Zapier. 
turn our zap on, and that's it. You can also name your zap here. Perfect! Now you can go to your messaging campaign, launch it, and every single time you message someone in this campaign, their data will be forwarding to the spreadsheet. Here it is! Looks amazing, right? If you would like to stop sending data to the spreadsheet, just either go back to Zapier and delete the second step here, or simply go back to your messaging campaign, Tools, and remove the webhook. Click Save. Okay, now let me show you how you can integrate Octopus with HubSpot CRM. For those who don't have much experience with HubSpot CRM, that's a free CRM software like Salesforce, Zoho, or Pipedrive that organizes and tracks your leads and customers, allows you to manage the pipeline, chat with prospects, and do many other great things for your business. And what you can do now is every time you message, visit, or endorse someone on LinkedIn through Octopus, each profile will appear in HubSpot CRM as a contact. When it goes to HubSpot CRM, it will automatically add the name, the title, LinkedIn profile, company information, email address, and other information. And these contacts are now ready for you to deal with. So here is how we can set everything up. We can either use the existing app we've just created and add the third step, HubSpot CRM, so the data will appear in both Google Sheets and HubSpot CRM as a contact, or create a new Zap in Zapier and start from scratch. Let's create a new Zap. Search for Webhooks by Zapier, next always select Catch a Hook, copy this URL, and paste it into our campaign. Press Test so Octopus CRM could send the test data to Zapier, and click Save. Now, go back to Zapier, and again, we see the test data we just sent from Octopus. Okay. We've set this up and Zapier will push data from Octopus to Zapier. Now we have to add the next step so Zapier could forward this data to HubSpot CRM. You search for HubSpot CRM. Make sure you choose HubSpot CRM, not just HubSpot, since these are two different software. Here you can see multiple options. We have to choose Create or Update Contact and click Continue. Now you have to connect your HubSpot CRM account and press continue. Here, we have to match the information as we did previously. We select the email address, company size, LinkedIn URL, job title, First thing, last name, phone number, location, company name,
and industry. Other fields are irrelevant and cannot be scraped from a LinkedIn profile. Click Continue and send test data to CRM. Well done! Now, let's go to HubSpot CRM and check whether the contact was actually sent. Here is our test contact. Amazing! Let's finish our integration and turn it on. We can go to our campaign in Octopus CRM now, launch it, and every person we'll be messaging will appear in HubSpot CRM as a contact. Yep, here they are. It's also important to know that in case you'll be using Zapier integration with HubSpot CRM, you won't be able to do that in the Connect campaigns since we have second or third level connections there. And due to the fact that we cannot scrape emails of our second and third level connections, we won't be able to create contacts in HubSpot CRM without knowing the person's email address. However, you can do that in your messaging campaigns and create contacts in HubSpot CRM right after your thank you message or the first follow-up is sent. I do know it might sound a bit complex, but I highly recommend you use this feature in your business since it's created to take your LinkedIn prospecting to a new level. Feel free to contact your personal account manager at Octopus CRM if you have any questions or difficulties with the integration.